Hi, it's Dee with Divine Needle. How's it going? This reading is for the collective for Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. Hmm. The interesting thing about Tuesday. Tuesday. Let me see if I can pull up the... Well, the moon has moved into Pisces, and Tuesday is ruled by Mars, so we should call it Mars Day. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, I digress. Let's take a look at the planets real quick. What do you think? And the Sabian Mysteries picture. Here we go. All right, so this is for Tuesday. That'll be April 25th, 2022, or 26th, April 26th. We're doing this a day in advance. <laughs> so, like I said, the moon will be in Pisces. It actually moved into Pisces today. And, um, yeah, I'm glad it's not an Aquarius right now, <laughs> especially after the whole shin thing. <laughs> it's like, are you kidding? Anyway, um, so that leaves Saturn all by his lonesome in Aquarius now, because now even the moon has exited. So he's all by himself after having quite the party that went on in Aquarius for a good while. Anyway, um, so Pisces has a stellium and has a conga line of Mars, the Moon, Venus, and Neptune, and Jupiter. So <clears throat> none of them. The Moon energy is washed over the fire energy of Mars, um, or will today. <clears throat> neutralizing fire somewhat. Neutralizing the fire of Mars, because it's in a water sign, too. So, and plus we've got Neptune in there. So, yeah. That should help calm the fires down. Um, I've been kind of looking over the news. There was a lot of big fire energy yesterday. And I think that's why I was having trouble honing in on what, what were they talking about, a something specific? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I did see some interesting things. I might do a results video, maybe. Yeah, you guys can check the news <laughs> for the last 24 hours and fires. Russia, well, all over the place. Um, a lot of wildfires and oil refinery fires and a lot of fire energy, a lot of big fire energy. Uh, Israel was firing on. Um, where was that? I'll have to go back and look. <clears throat> but yeah, there's a whole bunch of fire energy. So, and I haven't even checked um, whether we had another asteroid come through or not. I haven't checked that yet. But uh, the whole 1010 thing was really fascinating. Because I did come across one article that came out of 1010 wins w-i-n-s which i think is a radio or television station so interesting but uh yeah so we got the conga line going on in pisces and a, that small conga line still going on in taurus um and everything else remains the same as yesterday, or for today's reading. And we'll be, the moon is in, um, where am I at? Oh, I changed this calendar. <laughs> where am I at? Because I was looking at December 2020. So, yeah, I need to change that back to... Momentary 
Lapse of reason. Hang on. April. There we go. <laughs> I was like, that can't be right. Anyway, so here we are. That's today. And, or this is today. And it moved into Pisces at 1015. That's interesting because the reading was about 1010. So just before it moved into Pisces. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> it'll still be in Pisces tomorrow. Feet, toes, and pineal gland. So a very good day for detoxing the pineal gland. Look up ways to do that. Stay away from fluoride. That's a big one. Anyway, <clears throat> so. Um, yeah, feet, toes, and pineal gland. I'd say today would be a really good day for meditation and astral travel or, um, using, um, those of you that don't seem to get into that state and aren't able to obtain the astral or, uh, the records hall or what have you, um, might be a good time for using um, chemical alterations to your system to achieve it. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Anyway, so I digress. Let's go back. So the Sabian Mysteries picture for today. A bridge being built across a gorge. Now, when I was looking at this, and the sun is at five degrees Taurus today, and again, happy birthday to the Tauruses. <clears throat> one special one, it's a friend of mine, their birthday is today. Happy, happy birthday, Sir Peter. <laughs> anyway, um, and I'm not going to announce his age nor ask him how old he is. <laughs> Whew. This. <clears throat> Sabian Mysteries picture. To me, um, I got the sense of a um, um, communication. Oddly enough, waves like sine waves. And there's my sign. <laughs> Give me just a moment. Okay. So... I felt like, this felt like waves, um, like, um, it could be like communication waves or something like that, but there seems to be a break in it somehow. Um, I felt like there were people two people standing down here communicating when I first looked at it. And I'm not, I sort of see it still, but not like I did. I was seeing a male and a female communicating. The male being taller, it's this right here, the female right here. And they were actually looking at each other talking. Um, the, uh, so it feels very communication or like pipelines or, you know, just something that causes things that travel through, like tunnels, right? Like pipelines, tunnels, communication lines, bridges even. Um, <sighs> hmm. And it's interesting because I am seeing what feels like these brush strokes here feel like wind energy. Um, hmm. The color itself is representing fire energy still. Um. 
it's almost like the picture matches up more with what the reading was for today, which is weird. So maybe if I, I had looked at the picture ahead, I would have gotten a better idea. But it looks like, you know, a building back here, some skyscrapers, the wind, um, or just, you know, prairie, all this um, energy. Um, this could even be a ladder from a fire truck extended across. Um, wow, and now I'm seeing somebody pushing um, a baby carriage. The baby carriage here. Um, and people sitting down, three people sitting down here. Um, having a meeting, meeting of the minds, perhaps. So, a lot to do with wind and fire still, and communication and things that allow um, for things to travel through, railways, uh, bridges, uh, communication lines, pipelines, what have you. Um, anyway, um, hmm. so let's get on with the reading. <laughs> The picture still has me very, um, hmm. Also, it could be like, you know, the energy of, um, like a heart monitor, you know, like an ICU, you have the, the monitor with the heartbeat and the blood pressure and all that. Don't know why I'm getting that, but I am. Definitely frequency waves. Um, could even indicate um, solar flares, solar waves, um, things like that. Anything to do with fire and air. A lot of energy. So, <clears throat> wow. All right, let's get into the reading. Um, now that we seen that part. Huh. Okay, these are the cards that we're working with today. Um, they wanted the um, older... Spirit Keeper's Tarot deck, which is the Vitruvian edition. Let's stick those aside for now. Um, this one is Voyager Tarot. And I'm just going to pull um, a little from that one. Um, that is a new deck. So is this. This one is the Spirit Junkie. From, a girlfriend of mine got me this. Thank you, Miss Amy. I really... Love it. Isn't that pretty? The back of it. Super pretty. Turn it this way. You'll see it better. Isn't that amazing? Anyway, this is an affirmation desk deck. So it's not really Oracle, so to speak. Um, but uh, yeah, I got the urge. Just like I get the urge for certain decks for certain readings. And I wanted to use it. So let's see what they got for the collective for tomorrow. Energy for the collective tomorrow. Affirmation for the collective tomorrow. Affirmation for the collective for tomorrow. Oh, and let me apologize for yesterday's reading. I was picking up on things and I was honing in, but I was not 100. My abilities? Mm-mm. 
not 100, not even. Um, I felt like I was feeling away in the dark. I felt like I was two of swords hard. You know, the first card, overall energy, two of swords. <laughs> that turned out it was a clock. Um, that, uh, yeah, wow. Mm. Yeah, I even kind of mentioned it during the reading. I'm just like, oh, okay, I don't know. Well, I'm not getting more, but but sometimes there's just not more to get. But I knew there was more there. <clears throat> I could feel it, taste it, put my pink, pinky finger in it. You you know the drill. Anyway, affirmation for tomorrow. We need to know what's going on for Tuesday, Mars Day. What's going on for Mars Day? These are so pretty. I love the backs on these. <laughs> They're really shuffling oddly, though. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it might just be me. No. That was a no. They don't want me to take that. Come on. Where is the card? Where is the affirmation card? Tell it's a new deck. <sighs> Energy for Tuesday. Tuesday. Tomorrow. For the collective. just heard cut the deck okay so when i pick it up the one at the bottom of the pickup there we are okay so they're treating these like some of the other decks that they sometimes have me do let me be still today and listen to the truth in silence that's interesting um Santero did a Leo reading that some of that was part of the energy. Okay. Fascinating. <laughs> Let me be still today and listen to the truth in silence. Remember the, um, so remember I said tomorrow is going to be a very good day because the pineal gland. Right? The moon in Pisces. Today, tomorrow, even the next day. Um, that meditation, sitting in silence. Because if you ask your team a question that you need an answer to, they'll give you that answer. But you have to be prepared to Shut the F up <laughs> and be still. <laughs> Good luck to all of you with that. Some of you have trouble with that one. <laughs> you can hear your, your teams. Some of you just have one in a team. Some of you have bunches in the team. My team consists of two besides me. I'm a trinity. Okay, pulling one card from this deck from the Voyager. One card from this deck. I'm getting used to shuffling these decks. Six of Cups. This one, that came out no trip, no problem for tomorrow. Six of Cups. Sorrow is what this one says at the top. Six of Cups. And I'm going to read this. Um, you know, Six of Cups is about something from the past coming into your current. Could be past relationships, siblings, children, past lives. 
but I, I'm going to actually read this from the book. This deck is super interesting. Let me get to it for you. All right. The overturned cup of sadness, the dark river of tears, and the purple flowers of grief symbolize the sorrow you feel after a reversal. Unfulfilled expectation. Separation or death. You drop to the emotional depths and hit the rock bottom of depression. Dry, old, and musty earth filled bases. It is also a time of emotional catharsis and purification as you pour your sorrow out. Have the courage to grieve. The light in the vase and the palm on its side symbolize your emotional resurrection. The life and vitality you now restore as you let go and release, knowing that all things must pass. Hmm. It's interesting because there was supposed to be some sort of news coming in today for some of you about um, a passing. Now, what kind of passing? Not sure. That passing can be the end of a job. Um, it's something um, from the past. That passing could be literally something passing in the sky or passing you by. But a passing nonetheless. And something that you're going to have to more and release. Let it go. Wow. Interesting. Super interesting. So definitely the Pisces energy cups. Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Cups, cups, cups. Water energy. Whew. All right. Let's take a look at what we got in store for us. Whew. Overall, wow. Tingle, tingle. Okay. Overall energy. See, yesterday I was off and I feel more on today. I'm still not quite up to speed, but definitely more on. Whew. Moon, get the hell out of Aquarius. <laughs> Didn't do me any favors this time around. I can tell you that. <laughs> Especially when you got Saturn sitting in Aquarius. Yeah. Of all the signs, the one that gets it the most is wherever Saturn's sitting. Trust. Everybody thinks they've had it hard. Trust me. And I get it. They have had it hard. Because you guys do have placements, you know, where Saturn is in your chart. But, <clears throat> yeah, with it sitting and the Aquarius, the Aquarius suns, they, yeah. Well. Lots of life review happening. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> Overall energy for tomorrow, Tuesday, April 26, 2022. Overall energy. Overall energy. Oh, vagabond. Okay, five of orbs. It's five of pentacles. Card of Taurus. Mercury and Taurus. Whew. What's our highest priority for tomorrow? For the collective. Highest priority for the collective. They didn't waste time coming out. Stronghold of the Zephyrs. Herald of the Consummating. That is a page of swords. So a messenger. Messenger, messenger of truth. Could be an air sign. Hmm. Wonder which one. <laughs> Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The Fool card. Seeker, spirit in search of science. Scientific endeavors. Interesting. Any kind of science. There's many sciences. The one this air sign happens to be um, dabbling in right now, the science, would be 
alchemical chemistry right now. I'm dabbling <laughs> as a chemist. Anyway, the seeker. Cool card. And the haunt. There's Mars for you. Yep. Things that keep you up at night. The uh, Cathedral of the Damned. This is anxiety personified, as the book states. Yep. There's things that lurk in the shadows. Hmm. Interesting energy. That's your highest priority. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. It just, wow. Okay. And what to be mindful of for the collective and or prepare for. What to be mindful of and or prepare for for the collective. Okay. Two cards. <laughs> we have the kindred, three of cups, and two threes, 33. And the politic, three of scepters. Okay, okay. Remember in the Sabian Mysteries, I said there was three people down there in the corner having a meeting. There they are. The hollow void. Four chalices. So I have three and four chalices. Sneaky peek on the underlying moon and cancer. The contender of five. Struggle. That's a when I see that when I see that five of wands, that's struggle. Struggling with destiny. Struggling with time. Having time. Some sort of offer. Having the time to to provide. And this is um, Ten of Pentacles, Light at the End of the Tunnel. And another Fool card, the Initiate, Spirit in Search of Experience. So actually going out and experiencing something. <sighs> Interesting energy under there. So the struggle for time. Incoming offer. Will you accept it or not? The offer is coming from somebody connected, family and friends from your dynasty. Evidently, you'll take it because you got the fool card and the ace of fire right underneath. So, the vagabond, overall energy, feeling left out in the cold. But see, once again, we have shadow energy back here. And if you're doing this meditation stuff, and if there's been something that passed you over, you're definitely going to be sitting in that energy and this energy. So, um, and this is mental... Um, you know, things, you know, hidden in the shadows that, um, you know, yesterday's two of swords, you didn't see it coming kind of stuff. So for some of you, it is literally a loss of a loved one. And for some of you, um, it's someone you're close to or involved in your work or community somehow. Because we have this. It's interesting that the politics right there, because the kindred is the tribe, tribal relations, tribal love, and then the politics behind it. Yikes! I don't like that. Now, I love the druids that are on the card. It can be a very good card. 
Sun in Aries, which we, that season we just came out of. And Mercury in Cancer. Mm. Okay. So, your highest priority. Learning the truth. See, the truth. Today, be still and listen to the truth in silence. Somebody's going to be bringing you an incoming truth. Could be an air sign. Doesn't have to be. Um, and the fool in search of science. So the topic of the truth, I feel like, is this. And this is... Um, Hmm. I'm going to take Walmart some clarity on this. Just a minute. Just so I'm giving you guys the best from this. left out in the cold it's just like yesterday a house on fire you know yesterday i got a dome building that was on fire this is giving me a house on fire a church possibly and the savian mysteries picture still leaning that way air and fire energy Hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Mars in Gemini. So this could be a Gemini, this air sign. So some sort of incoming truth could be from a Gemini. Um... Let's see. Let's get any further clarity on this highest priority, please. Any more clarity on this highest priority for tomorrow? Any further clarity? Hmm. Seven of Cups. Something to do with options. They're not all good choices either. Any other for any more further clarity on this? Whatever it is, it causes um some stress because the overall energy there's definitely some stress going on here hmm. seven of cups can also be poisons around you know, make sure you pick the right cup because if you drink from the wrong one it could be not good Anything further, clarity-wise, on the hunt, the seeker, and the stronghold, and the zephyrs? <sighs> Some sort of wish fulfillment. So it's somebody's wish fulfillment. <clears throat> but it causes them uh, some stress and anxiety. Because they're not sure what option to pick. Interesting to see how that happens. Okay. And then our... Um, 
What should be mindful of, prepare for community politics, <laughs> the kindred, three chalices. This is celebrating, partying, um, just having a good time in general. Um, it's interesting because I felt like the the waves from the sun, and and we have that here. And the, and the waves from the sun again here, behind the politic. This one's reversed the other one. Okay, and what came first, the chicken or the egg? See, there's a fire down here. This is scepters and water pouring on fire. See, I keep, I keep getting that moon energy that, 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 and Mars being, um, dampened down by water. So this quite literally could be a fire. That might've been caused. That's why the haunts here. So for some of you, it's quite literally losing Losing a house. Wow. You know that be still and, you know, I was talking about meditating. That's what's happening here. As you'll get your answer, you get the fourth cup. That is so weird. Okay, what are they up to? Mm. So we got fire and water energy. Cancer, Aries. Mm. Oh no. Three of scepters, that is um, waiting for your ships to come in. Um, you know, you've sent them out. You're waiting for them to come back. Um, I'm going to read from the book on that card particularly because I think it would be um, beneficial in this particular case. The politic is an omen validate, validating glory achieved through diplomacy, tact, pragmatism, and prudence. So that's with your significant friends, family, community, your tribe. The three of scepters portends expedient success. This is the spirit of ingenuity and wielding your personal brilliance, social intelligence, and psychic dexterity to successfully navigate complicated social or political situations. Man, talk about co complicated political situations. <laughs> That's um, a huge understatement in the world today. Complicated. Everything's become entirely too complicated. We need to simplify and quit having such thin skins. Mm -hmm. This is the spirit of established strength by your side. And here we also see powerful allies, your tribe that are there to support you on your endeavor. So there's support from your tribe. So whoever's going through this stress, and you might get a message that either stresses you out or from somebody that is. Um... It's over them having a new idea and wanting to fulfill it, but not sure how to go about it. 
That's why the Seven of Cups is here. Um, yeah. So there. That's what I got for you. It goes well. Divine timing. It takes time. Gotta have patience. Learn to be still. <laughs> Go within to get your truth. I'll help you get past the sorrow and anxiety and stuff. Your tribe can help you. Mm -hmm. Whoever that is to you. Anyway, so that's for Tuesday. Mars Day, the 26th of April. Hope you guys have a absolutely fantastic Tuesday. And um, yeah, information is in the description below the video. If you would like a personal reading from either myself my, or my husband and myself. Yes, that. <laughs> anyway, have a good one. Later, guys.